All right, welcome back my friends. I'm so glad that you could join me today on Nerd Cheek for a quick tutorial. This is gonna be something that helps you actually embed videos better as well as change the end screen so that you don't have all those annoying pop-ups that, um, that, that sometimes end up back on there. So if you wanna change number one, the embed function of a video, the first thing is you need to open the video itself and go into the share function like you normally would. So click share and then here, mine's already defaulted over, so I'm going to have to change it back. But usually, you see it, and it's defaulted this way. And it's got all of this stuff on here this way, and, you know, folks can get to everything or whatever. What I want to tell you you can do is you can turn off player controls, if you would like, so that you don't see all those things. And you can click Embed Privacy Enhanced Mode, which allows it to be a little more controlled like this. And that's a... That's a um, a control that you can do. It takes out all the extra stuff that would allow people to share it so easily and take the content out of wherever you're embedding it. So then you can click this this information here, just copy it and put it over. Another way to do it is to grab the um, base of the video's information right here. This is the video's ID and copy that and then take it over and put it into this little string right here. It's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube-nocookie.com forward slash embed forward slash and then your code from your video. You paste it right there and then you can do this and it brings it up as an embeddable format. And then you can go in here and just grab this text right here, this URL, and if you're pasting it into something that controls the video, maybe it's an app you're doing and you just wanna embed it flat like that, or if it's um, going into maybe a social learning platform or whatever you know, that recognizes the video, you can put it in this way and then it cleans it up and it won't put all that stuff in there. Now, let's talk about the annoying end screens that give all kinds of videos that aren't related to what you're doing and you're trying to keep folks focused on what you're doing. You're gonna to wanna to go into here and click end screen inside of this area and work on those elements. And so um, what I'd encourage you to do is use one like this and then um, choose to click this and add the video that you want. You put best reviewer, choose specific video, most recent upload. Me personally, choose specific video. And then have a video in here that's like your welcome video to your channel. And then you can just click that and put it in there. And then they're going to see that here. If you want your um, stuff so that you they can actually get your um, subscribe element or whatever, you can have it there. If you want to delete it, just delete it. And then you've got your video. But at least you're changing where that end screen is not going crazy on you. You can also do all kinds of others. You can have four videos, whatever but I would always put this in screen function in here, even if it's just at the last four seconds or whatever, so that you don't have all the pop-ups of everybody else's stuff. You've got that at the end and then you're controlling it a bit. So change your end screen so people get to your content that you want them to see at the end. And then change, and again, my, my best bet is doing like um, a welcome video of some sort. And then of course change here to take out all the extra stuff so you can get something that looks like this and it doesn't have a YouTube function right here and it's got all of this stuff shut down and makes it really simple and, and takes it off. So that's the best we can do at this point with YouTube. Um, they have changed their controls a lot, but hopefully that helps. Don't forget to subscribe, give us some love here, some thumbs up, some likes or whatever. And then of course, um, we've got all kinds of other resources at askthenerd.net. Look at the description of this video and you can find all that there. You guys have a good one. Oh, and the last thing is, Check out this amazing new group we're working with, Habit Finder. Go look up habitfinder.com and find out all about this awesome stuff.